These switches above this line are all on DC power. The main ones that you'll want to run are the lake pump and the fresh water pump. You can read what the other ones do. However, this is for the cabin lights on the batteries in the back. You don't really need to use those anymore because the inverter system turns on the lights. So very rarely will you ever have to use these. The main DC power are lake pump and fresh water pump. Down here are the 110 volt units. You can turn on what you need or just turn them on and they all will work. Once you're on either shore power, generator power, or on the inverter system, that's what runs this. You cannot run, these are for the air conditioning and the furnace and the uh, stove. I'd have to think about this, but I don't think the stove does either. But these middle ones do not run on the inverter. So you have to have the generator going or shore power to have the furnace or the air conditioner working. These down here are the charging batteries. This charges the battery inverter system. The battery inverter system is up here telling you that you're at 100%. If you have these on, the battery inverter charges. This DC battery charger charges the batteries in back. And the water heater uh, is, is on this uh, same circuit. These four work on shore power or generator power only. And when you leave, we want you to leave one battery charger, the, the rear battery charger on, and one of these two inverter battery chargers on, so that when the next person comes, it's at 100%.